functions or not function. Today we're going to try to identify functions from a different representations, from tables, a set of points, graphs, and mapping diagrams. We will have to remember the definition of a function is that for every x value we are only allowed to have it paired with one y value. So we're going to start with our tables and we're going to pay attention to our first table right here. We have an x value of negative 3 pair with the 6, x value of 0 pair with an 8, a value of 3 pair with the 20, x value of 8 pair with the 4, and an x value of negative 10 pair with an 8. Notice that every single one of my x values is different, so every single x value is paired with only one y. So this, we can say that this is a function. Sometimes it's hard to understand what is the definition of a function until we see an example of what is not a function. So now we're going to look at our second table right here. And I want you to notice that we have x values of negative 2, 0, negative 2, 7, and negative 8. I want you to notice that your x value of negative 2 is listed here pair with the 6 and an x value of negative 2 is paired here with the 20. So that tells me that the same x value is paired with different y's. So this will be a non-function. Now, looking at our set of points, I look at the first one and notice that I have the x values of 2, 3, negative 1, and 5. None of my x values are repeated so I can assure that this will be a function because there's no way I will get different y values for the same y. Now if I look at my second list of set of points, I will notice that my x values are negative 1, 2, 1, and 2. So notice how we have the negative, the, the value of 2 twice paired with different y values. So the same x is giving me different y's that will be a non-function. When we're talking about graphs, we're going to look at our first graph. And we're going to check this a little bit different. We are going to do what is called the vertical line test. And that is, imagine a set of different vertical lines passing through the line. And the rule is they could only touch your line once. So for example, this one only touches my y here. This one touches the line only here, only here, and only here. So each one of my lines is touching, the vertical lines are touching the line only once. So that will be called a function. Now if we look at our second graph, we will notice that if I start drawing my vertical lines, I immediately notice that the same line, the same vertical line will touch twice. That immediately tells me that this is a non-function. For mapping diagrams, I'm going to use my same definition of every x can I have only one y value. So I want you to look exactly at the first at the value of negative one in the first mapping diagram. It's paired with two different y values, which is five and three. That will tell me that this is a non-function. And in our last mapping diagrams, noting how each x value it's paired only with one y value. That would tell you that this is a function.